Hey you guys, what's up? It's Janice. We're here in my pottery studio and I'm working on a little pet project for myself because I need some more drink coasters. So I kind of cooked up this idea a little while ago and I thought, hey, why don't I just do something nice for myself, get my mind off of things, and do a little experimentation and have fun. So, what I'm doing is I cut out some very thick slabs, or excuse me, I rolled out a really thick slab and cut out some circles. And then took those and trimmed down inside to make kind of like some little dishes, if you will. Then I'm coating the inside of those with a white clay because I'm going to fire colored glass inside and I want to be able to see the colors so I want that white clay inside but I'm going to leave the outside unglazed and a little bit rough hewn I just kind of trimmed the outside of these with a sure form um, and they have kind of like a little bit of a carved wood look effect so I'm going to leave those rough hewn on the edges they're not sharp or anything and uh, this will fire to almost the same dark chocolate color and then I'll have the glass inside. So I've got one over on the wheel and I'm going to go ahead and coat the inside with the white slip. So the white slip that I'm using is a clay that's related to the one that the coasters are made out of. And um, I used a little hand blender to mix up some little trimmings of white clay, kind of like the trimmings that I have here from trimming these coasters but of white clay and just mix it in some water to make this slip and I think the easiest way to coat the inside of these is just to get this on the wheel and use a brush and apply that slip in there I really just want to coat it so that it's white and the colored glass will show later so it's a bit of an experiment but I think it'll be fun I was going to buy some coasters and I thought, why would I do that when I can make my own? And I thought about what would I like them to look like? I made a set of coasters years ago that I use in my den, but I needed some for another room, like by my computer and stuff. So I just wanted to make some more. Anyway, what are you guys working on out there? Any? Any pet projects, anything that maybe you wouldn't normally be working on, just to get your mind off of things. Hope all my friends out there are doing well. Recently on my page I had announced uh, my solo show coming up at the Art Box in Monticello, Georgia, and that was going to be on April 4th opening, and so we're pushing that back. Not exactly sure when the opening's going to be. That'll be my sculptural work, like my totems and my birds and all my nature-inspired work. But anyway, just doing a little fun domestic project here. Hope everyone out there is doing well. Okay, so here's one that I haven't trimmed yet. And how I made this was I rolled out a really thick slab. I think this was about a little over a half inch thick. I made two thicknesses. I uh, think half inch would have been plenty. So I rolled out that thick slab and I used an empty food container lid to trace out some circles so that they were all the same. I made this plenty big so that once I left a lip and the whole thing shrinks with firing, it'll be big enough to get a big glass down inside of the, the rim that I'm gonna put on it. So now I've smoothed it out the edges were a little bit rough where I just cut out the circles and I used a sure form here to go around the edges and I'm purposely leaving that texture on there to leave it a little bit rough and organic. I went ahead and stamped my mark on the bottom and now I'm going to trim the rim down inside. Before I started trimming my first one, I grabbed something in my studio to use as a, a measure for how wide I want the rim to be so that they're all fairly consistent. I just grabbed this broken off 
hole cutter to hold it here at the edge. Use my needle tool to make a little line. And I know how far I want to trim to. And then just come in and start trimming. I have a video about how to make these bigger catch pans for trimming. So I will add a link to that. Helps keep all of your clay trimmings up off the floor. You can see how they just go flying. I still get some on the floor, but not nearly as much with these big catch pans. You can also use cardboard. Uh, I've seen people use that. There are a bunch of different things you can do. I've been using these for years, they work well for me. Just a little bit. I'm going to use one of my custom clay pottery tool ribs to compress this, help keep this from warping when it's fired. You can get the video on how to make your own clay tools. Amazon. It's called Custom Clay Pottery Tools. You can make all kinds of things. I often make new ones and I use them for all kinds of things. So right now I was just smoothing and compressing the bottom here. I am going to go over with my finger just to give it that organic touch. Just pressing down, adding in a little ridge there. So this is what we've got. Then I'll put the white slip in here and fill this with some glass shards and melt them in here. My new drink coasters. Okay you guys so I got all of these coasters trimmed and coated with the white clay slip inside and in order to dry them my buddy Jim over on Facebook asked me this, how do you keep them from warping? Well, I place another uh, board on top of them. So I've got these on a wear board. I have drywall sheets here, but you could use bats or whatever you use in your studio. Just place another board right on top of them while they're drying. And you can even add some weight on here, depending on what you've got in there, if you feel like you need to, to keep them flat. And then hopefully they'll continue to stay flat in your firing. I'm going to go ahead and post this for you guys. Normally I'd wait to have a finished one to show you with the glass fired in and everything, but we're in these crazy times with quarantine and social distancing and everybody's on edge, so I just want to get this out there for you guys. Send everybody a big hug. Take care. See you soon. Bye.